Sometimes you have large sections of code that you need to mark up or change the markup that you already have. When doing this, the tools that we've learned about in brackets, as well as the tools that we have in Emmet, will help us a lot. Notice up here on the brackets menu bar, we have an option for Emmet. We click this and we can come down and see some of the tools and things that are, are available here. One of these we've already been using, and this is the one here for wrap with abbreviation, which is Control Shift A. And then the other one that we've worked on is one that we where we did the multiple selectors. And so let's try these two tools to see here in our code for the US Constitution from lines 51 down through line 68 in my copy of this, I have all of these short little paragraphs wrapped in par paragraph tags. But what I want to do is to change all of this section into an unordered list. Now to do this, I'm going to come down to the end here first and just give myself an extra couple of blank lines so that I can see what I'm doing here a little bit better. I don't like when the text is all scrunched up together like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight all of the text that I want to be wrapped inside of the UL and I'll use the Control Shift A and type UL and then press Enter and now I can see that I have a opening and closing UL tag that encompasses all of these paragraphs. Now rather than try to change all of these paragraph tags into LI tags, I'm going to try to change all of them at once. And again, whenever we use the multiple selectors, we have to find something that is identically the same between all of the items that we want to change. Now I cannot select the less than and the P and try to go with that option because in our closing tags we have less than with a forward slash and then P. But if we'll notice here that we do have a a consistency where we have P followed by the, great, the greater than symbol. So I want to highlight that first P with the greater than symbol and then I'm just going to start pressing control B and I'm just going to walk down through all of these control B's. By the way, there are other ways of doing this, but I'm just trying to show you how we would do it using the multiple selectors. Just be careful. Make sure that you stop whenever you get to the last closing paragraph tag here on this uh, UL group just before you uh, get down to section 9. Now, with all of these selected, I'm simply going to come in and I'm going to use the right arrow key to move the insertion point to the far right of the, all of those selections. Then I'm going to use the left arrow key to move back to past the greater than symbol just to where the P is found. And I'm going to hit backspace one time and then type LI and then escape a couple of times to get out of the multiple editing mode and now what we see is that we have matching pairs of LI and opening and closing tags for each of those that had been paragraphs before. And so now all of this section is marked up correctly and all I had to do was just a couple of different keystrokes.